I sat here for hours today trying to figure this out. It involves using Get and Transform to pull data and put it into tiers. The equivalent of VLOOKUP with TRUE. But we want more than the equivalent of VLOOKUP TRUE because that's easily done by stacking up conditional uh, columns in Get and Transform. We would like something that's responsive from the worksheet. If we add a tier, remove a tier, change the range in a tier, how can we make that change on the worksheet, refresh, and have it show up as a result? It wasn't easy to figure out. And I am going to show you an ugly way of getting this done, but it gets done. Check out this data. We've got transactions. Then we have the amounts. We need to bring over the cost. The six in the amount for the transaction correlates to a cost per pound of 375. The 59.55 would be $2 because it's over 50. Got to make my transaction query. All right. Data from table. Transaction. Load this as a connection only. Now watch what I'm going to do with the discount matrix. I'm going to do flag and I'm going to put X's all in that column. Now make my query data from table slash range. Discounts. So I'm going to close and load this as a connection only. I forgot one thing that I want to do. Go back into the discounts. Edit. Amount. I just want it to be amount. All right, close and load it. Now, combine queries, append. Primary table, I want my transactions up top. The discounts on the bottom. All right. Now here's the sexy part. All right, go to the amount, sort that smallest to largest. Now you can see those breaks where we need them. Next thing, cost per pound, fill down. Now you'll see why I have those flags. I'm about to get rid of them because they are just placeholders to let us know where the lines were. Get rid of the X's, all right? And now we can get rid of this whole column, remove it. This is what we wanted. Oh yeah. Now let's close and load this to the workbook. Existing worksheet. See if we can put it here. Okay. All right, and just make some room. Insert. All right. Now let's visually check to see if this is right. Close this pane. 3.125. Should that be $4 a pound? Yes, it should be. 84.1875. Yes. Now here is what made this so messy. We are going to change our tiers and see if this holds together. We want another tier at $80, 1.85, and we need an X here for our flag, and we're going to change another tier. This will be 35. When we hit refresh, will this work? Data, refresh. 
And there might be some sweeter, slicker way of doing this in M code. If there is, I would love to see it. But for now, we have a good, reliable solution. It's ugly, but it works. And I'll see you in the next video.